Hey guys, this is Kirob speaking and today we are back in Potion Craft with our little journey from Homebrewer to Master Alchemist. And we're continuing right there where we left off, which is... Yes, no wait, no time to waste, we just woke up and uh, need to check our garden, because that's the first thing. Also, um, seeing that quite a few new little green books have spawned thanks to our... A chemical practice uh, skill but these books have uh, quite diminishing returns in terms of uh, their power uh, for when you are progressing in the game 20 experience towards the end is like nothing um, uh, to be uh, to be shown by this <laughs> like okay um, you have to grab how many 500? Is that right? You have to grab 500 of them to get the equivalent of uh, finishing the chapter. Is that right? 20. Yeah. Yeah, 20 times um, 50 is 10,000. Yes. Um, and yeah, so we did very, very well last episode in terms of getting a lot of money and getting lots of evil because we um, indirectly stole a lot of things, killed a lot of things, and potentially caused uh, some genocide as well, uh, some, somewhere. But um, no, no, not really. So uh, let, let's uh, <laughs> let's have a look. We did check our garden, not. So we have to um, grab all of those components and gladly accept some sulfur shelves and goblin shrooms as well, terrarias and water blooms. Uh, nothing else here? No, but that was a decent harvest. And now, it is time for, I hope, Master Alchemist to show up because we now have an open, uh, an open slot for him, which is the first slot of the day, the special character slot, and we've recently had the um, Master Trader, the Miner guy, and recently also had, but a little longer ago, the Master Alchemist. So I hope that Master Alchemist is booked in for our completion of chapter 3 which requires us repairing or rather just buying replacing the broken alchemy machine at least uh, the first part of it so let's jump over here and no no one that is unfortunate let's talk about how this is done when a character when, when a special character is uh, at your shop and you uh, sign them off, they save in their calendar, un unbeknownst to you, their next apparel date. And that might be um, any day within a certain range of potential days. So it's not like 20 days out. It will be closer than that. So there's a, a maximum range, which I don't quite know right now. And uh, as well as a minimum range. They can't show up the next day again. Would be weird. And um, with that in mind, we probably now have a day where no one shows up, like we see here, and then another one of those special characters shows up. They do have different frequencies as well. From my previous playthrough, I saw that the Master Trader guy was not appearing very often. He's quite special. He has all kinds of things. Um, but yes, so Master Alchemist, probably the most common one, second minor guy, and then the uh, Master Trader. So unfortunately, we're not going to finish the uh, third chapter today, which means we're going to use this opportunity to g make infinite amounts of money and um, potentially also discover some new effects. Uh, we, we shall see. We shall see. So my staff, uh, fire magic. Do you have a potion that will help me? Oh, does she just want to have a fire potion? Fire magic. Considering how early on we are in the game, I think she just wants to have that standard fire potion. And it was, yes. Um, are we going to haggle for that one? The answer is yes, because in the last episode we discussed the popularity progression in the game. And um, if you to, to gauge uh, how you are ahead of the curve or behind the curve. And we found out that we are quite far ahead of the curve at the moment. Because chapter 5 will require you to have popularity level 6. 7. 
Um, we have level six, sorry. I, I messed that up. So, uh, chapter four requires you to have level six, which we already have. Chapter five will require you level seven, which we will get within, what did we say? It was, uh, with, within, like, 16 customers without haggling. I believe it was. Some of those have already passed. Um, but, yes, so that is not an issue whatsoever. Because we are going to see a number, as you see down there, customers per day, six to eight. So that's just three days worth of customers uh, if things are going poorly. And that means that there is no way we're going to not get that in time to finish off chapter five. Still a lot of other things to do in the meantime. So yes, I am going to haggle you. Oof, this is a little tougher one. You see that so they are a little randomized in toughness. And this one is a little tougher. And uh, we see this one is e very easy. Um, but you can see that it is a little tougher from these small elements. If they are there already at the start, they will. They t the tendency is for the elements to get smaller as you continue to haggle and they refill. Um, but that... If they start out small, that's a li little bit more tricky. I'm going to skip the first small one, just to play it a little safe, to get find my rhythm, and do it like this, and then there won't be an issue, hopefully. Famous last words. Nope. Okay. Actually made it. So, sell that one. Ah, you are also... <sighs> the grumpy people are here again. Potion less clumsy. Here you go, good sir. And haggle the, 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 uh, the fumbly butts out of you. Uh, there we have that. Sausages, sausages and carrots, and uh, more sausages and carrots, and some other things. 275, I take that, thank you very much. And we have almost... Grumpy people! She wants to be more agile as well, because guards are going to catch her, yes. Uh... Alright, but, um, can't say no. Bye too, he probably wants to do the same. Potion? Grumpy lady, why can't you smile? I mean, this is the potion you want, isn't it? All right, haggledy do. <gasps> oh no! Emotions. Oh, these are these are um, different emotions, though. These are surprised and sad emotions. So sad. Okay, here we go. And there, so far so good. Uh, oh, I almost missed that one. Two seventy-five there as well. That's good. And oh, level up. Nice. I like to bring... Oh! Oh, yeah! No! We don't have Druid's Rosemary! It's one of my... Um, it's one of my favorite ingredients. It's so powerful. And... No, but half of Druid's Rosemary. So, let's talk about these special requirements. There are two types of special requirements. There are green ones, green texted ones. Those are optional. And then there are red texted ones. Those are requirements. If you can't make that requirement, can't sell the potion. If you can't make this wish, you can still sell the potion. And he wants to steal. Uh, yeah, we are really going down a dark path here. Okay. Um, well, uh, I think he also wants to have a potion of dexterity. Now let's put another one there and put that one there and then haggle him. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, there we go. It's a very easy haggle. I, I enjoy those from time to time. And also, have we now sold three of them in a row? Very popular. Ah, oh, hello, Shroomy. He also wants to have his first potion. <sighs> he wants to have his first potion, and you know what? I think I know what potion that is. <laughs> This potion, old man? Yes? <laughs> okay, let's see. What kind of potion do you need? A uh, hidden nook in the forest where some interesting mushrooms grow, but it's full of mounds and jutting out roots. Oh, he has a different sound. Right? To get across them without twisting my ankle requires incredible dexterity. Yep, um, yep. Oh! <laughs> yeah, okay, um, 
That that is exactly the potion. So it's four in a row. Okay, yeah. G give him give him that. So uh, show me goods. <sighs> At least he has those on sale. And but ah, oh, we did need some of those. And I think I'm going to get some witch mushrooms finally. Because, yes, they are expensive, but we do need them. We have so little that gets us into this general up direction. Um, and this on sale is just fantastic. Dryad Saddle on sale is forgettable. But um, let's take two anyway. We might run into needing them. Oh, they're dirt cheap right now. They're dirt cheap for a reason, though. And let's take all of those. That's a lot of money, though. Oh, but, yes, we take all of those. And then, let's take a few of these. That is expensive. But we need them. They are very useful. Quite small in terms of path, but having something in this direction is just really good. So we definitely need to haggle him down. And he's not making it easy for us, so let's skip the first one. And... Oh, that was a good one. Who just about missed that last one. Alright, uh, it's a deal. 443 for these. Yeah, that's a lot better. That is a lot better. 3,600 still available. And a skill point which we can't use because everything costs two or more at this point. We are going to continue down the trading route so that we do have plenty of cash. As you can see, we are still not able to b just buy outright everything um, from the merchants, but we are getting close to. This will as the game progresses and you have been wise in choosing um, your your path trading and so on and just making more money because more money can make more money um, then you will have the leeway of buying everything from the merchants eventually I believe and like everything that doesn't have a mark up yeah so looking good um, yeah, Shroomy thanks thanks mate it's all good you can come back whenever Ah, oh, grumpy cust, grumpy customers. I need a potion that will help me. We are running out of water blooms sooner or later, like this. <laughs> Please, devs. Uh, let's let's talk about game design there for a sec. Um, there there is something that is that has been said by I think it was Sid Meier for the um, Civilization series, that the random luck of the draw, when it goes against the player, is, even though it's purely RNG, random number generator based, um, it doesn't feel right. People are not good at uh, estimating charts and doing the mathematics in their head unless they're statisticians, and then um, they they kind of smile at these things, like I'm doing right now, although I'm not a statistician. Definitely not. I, I sucked at that. But, uh, regardless. So, one thing that he said, which I found extremely illuminating, was that that might be correct in terms of chance, but he wants to give them the feel that if you have failed twice then it would feel really bad if you failed an, a third time for just random number generation. So he built something in that was checking for how you had rolled before and then made it such that you couldn't roll, I think it was three or four times, in a row fail that roll, even though the random number could generate that and would be right to generate that. But you know what? When you, when you flip a coin, what humans tend to do is that they say, um, if, if they are supposed to give you a series of numbers that resulted from the coin flip, they tend to go like one zero, one zero, one zero, like way too much. What is actually the case is because it's a 50-50, is that you get long streaks of one thing happening. As we have now seen, to go full loop, why I'm even talking about this, with the dexterity potion and grumpy people, right? Random number generator, there's nothing wrong with it, but it feels wrong. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I think this was a, was a good, good uh, situation here to really highlight that fact. Another, another potion. 
of dexterity. Here you go. And we are going to haggle again. And it's going to be the same price again. And there we go. 275. Who would have thought? Fortunately, these are only slightly grumpy people. Oh, the main ingredient. I pay extra if the potion has some suitable additional properties. Oh, okay. Let's see. Mr. Grumpy Man, uh, do you have a potion that will help me get away if the guards take an interest in me? Yes, I do. Uh, do we have enough components for what I'm thinking? We have bought some witch mushrooms. I think it is time to go out there and explore. And I was just checking the time on there, on my video recording. Yes, we do have the time to go out and explore. Uh, gladly, Mr. Grumpy Man. Because there's something that we can do. Um, we could take up the path here. And then go over, explore in this direction. So we do grab level 3 effect of this one. And then continue on. So, now let me show you how this is done in a uh, pretty efficient way. If you already know that you do want to get a certain level 3 effect. You go to your recipe book. And then you choose continue brewing from here. Definitely not for the strong potion of dexterity though. But for this one. Oh, we can only brew two? Why? Why? Oh, yeah, we have less wind blooms there. That is very much true. So continue brewing from here. So now we already have our level 3 effect. We've already used four uh, wind blooms. And now we can take our spoon from the corner of the room and um, just uh, finish that one up, uh, put it back. And now uh, we do want to go over here. I think we can do so. Oof. Does that one kill us? I would say yes, uh, it does. So, uh, probably not want that, but I do want to grab the book. That's why I'm even taking a look at it. Glance. I think this one won't kill us. Let's grab that. So, there is another effect out there, which um, I'm going to try, attempt to get to, which is quite far out, quite advanced in effect. But within the inner circle of this big map, and by inner circle, I mean it's not out there in uh, beyond the big barrier, uh, which you can get to, but it's very difficult to get to usually. So this is within the realm of normal components without jumping about, without fussing about with hundreds, no, ten, tens of standard components just to fit through a narrow, narrow path, which does exist, by the way. So um, yes, we take this one. Plop it in there and just stir it out. Yeah, easy. And put that back. No, not like this. Put, no, come on. Put it back here like this. Um, now we want to get up there. So it's a witch mushroom. And then, unfortunately, that doesn't quite get us in contact with this one. Yeah, that's too bad. And it also dodges this experience. Yeah, it's fine. Plop, in there. Okay, what more can we do? Uh, I think we do need another witch mushroom here. Because this and this is a pretty bad combination at the moment. So let's do this one. Alright, grind it all out. And plop that in there. And now, careful. Careful. Yep, remove the spoon. And uh, we should also zoom in a little bit more. So that I see when I touch the whirlpool. We do need to be a little careful for that one. Eh? Ever so gently. There. Oh, this is, this is so nice to get it pixel perfect. There. I dropped it into the cauldron. No. That should count as extra stirring. <laughs> that would screw you over. Um, but yes, we're not going to teleport around. We're just going to use this to go up there. And here. You see the effect that I'm going for. It is right there. So it was known before, as we had uncovered the lightning potion already and saw that line. But this effect is going to match his desires to get away from the guards. And you see it's quite far up on top. 
Let's zoom out a bit more and let's grab all the vertical distance we can. Ah, it's over there, yes. So now we can just stir the last bit and use some wind blooms to actually go up there. And through that experience too. So, there. And there's some nice experience lying right there over in the corner. No, the firebell! Ah, okay. Selfish Shelf is uh, doing a better job at getting us there. Then the question is, do we want to sacrifice one additional component, one additional ingredient to grab the 60 experience books that are up there? Um, let's see what other components we do have. We could also use a mag mushroom. I think, you, you know what? I think we're going to do exactly that because thinking forwards again what place are we in if we ladle which direction are we going to move towards well it's exactly that one right exactly down that line that line if we go along it takes us further to the left the left is where all the juicy books are so that means if we throw this one in go behind the potion here then ladle back we, uh, our path that remains will be lower and also further to the left. So, throwing that in. And like this. Plop that in there. Go that way. Oh, you know what? That was actually a little bit of a mistake. Could have been made better. Because in this situation, I was further to the right at my starting location. And I want to go left. That means I need to ladle first and that thusly get more sideways motion. Um, so that is something that I messed up here. It is a minor minor detail but if you're going large distances that will play a pretty big role. So, um, yeah, We are going to um, continue on here then on our path. Ladle a little now. Uh, not that fast. So you see, we're going to miss a little of, of that, but uh, align it now. That is looking very nice. Oh, right. Question. Let's read again the description. Help me get away if the guards take an interest in me. Right, right. It doesn't say um, get away swiftly. Just get away. And I think this effect that we're making here does help him get away. Yes. And we can then sell it as a level 3 potion as well. So, um, that is looking very nice, isn't it? Uh, can we... Can we just poof it? Yeah, okay. Go ahead. Boom. I think that's a good effect to have on there. Strong potion of invisibility and swiftness. I think that will be making it very easy to get away from the guards. So uh, move quickly and just untraceable. Very good. But now we are not quite done with that potion, are we? Uh, we do need to find some place to store it. Recipe book. What can we throw out? Ah, you know what? We can just make two more poison potions and then delete this one. <laughs> go, go like this. Why not? Uh, very easy to make, just two stinky shrooms and you're good. Uh, and now we can save this one. And don't finish the potion. So now, can we- No, it's so close! Uh, do we want to waste? It's not wasted, but uh, do we want to- Oh, just a normal firebell does the trick. Yep, it definitely can do a firebell here. That will get us uh, all that XP. Is it worth it for 180 XP? 100, yeah, we would get this anyway now at this point. So this is 40 XP versus 180, 100, uh, 200 XP, basically. Uh, and I would say yes. Just throw that in there because we don't get anywhere anyway. But yeah, just be careful. Don't want to go too far. Like that. Do you see that one? <laughs> slightly bigger. Slightly bigger and slightly diff more difficult to reach. Um, so now we can ladle back here and now I do want to ladle as far as I can to there and 
into the death zone because that allows us to see something on the other side. Don't be afraid to do something like this if you already have a finished potion. Just don't go overboard. Let's keep a little safety margin, maybe. <laughs> like like that. And don't slip. <laughs> it can end badly. Uh, but I think that is a nice scout right there. We finished the potion. And plus 250 experience for that one, too. Now, I want to see what he is going to give us for that one. Just 180. That's not a lot. That is not a lot considering how much ingredients we have in there. No, I mean, this is reasonably efficient. But two witch mushrooms, five wind blooms. All right, well, we're going to haggle you, mate. That's a tough haggle. Tough-ish. It's not the smallest size, but uh, there you go. Minus four. We are getting really evil. It's only grumpy people showing up. He wants to beat up guards. Uh, do we... <sighs> and we do want to reach... I think after... <laughs> this will be interesting to see. We're just going to play it as is. And get ever more evil. And then we're going to try and uh, restore our reputation, maybe. <laughs> uh, by... Um, no, maybe not. Because if we want to sell to everyone, then... Uh, if we want to be as quick as possible in terms of calendar days, then we have to sell to everyone. And that potion is going to help you, isn't it? Yep. 120... Yep, yeah, uh, going to make the, the best of it. Um, although, now, nah, yeah, we're going to have. Oh, that's an easy one. Yep, there you go. The easy ones also have the disadvantage of not fitting as many fields on there, which means... Oops! Oh, oh my god, what was that? That was spasms. Um, so I made it a lot harder for myself there. But um, the easy ones, what I wanted to say, have the disadvantage of the big fields taking up so much space that you have less along the line, along the timeline. And that means that it takes longer, more back and forth, to actually finish the haggle. And uh, we're going to sell that one, and another more evil one. Uh, need a port... People... Can you stop... Can Does he? Let's try that one. No, it's not... Cr oh, man. That would have been something. Like, um... Make him go like, yeah, uh, wife's lover. Maybe maybe you just need a potion to <coughs> convince her of your qualities. <laughs> so, uh, no. Okay, well, fine, fine. Fair enough. Here you go. And no, no haggling here. Minus four. Just minus four? For such an evil thing? I don't know about that. But we have started to sell out of potions as well. And we are filthy rich. Good. And still no alchemy machine repaired. Waiting for that one. Have to wait another day. Let's go to bed and see what we get. So, oh, and down we go, and off to the garden we go. Some goblin shrooms growing there, terraria, water bloom, and fire bell, and terraria, and wind bloom, just four, and water bloom. So no fancy ones apart from that one. The goblin shroom, a very nice component. And we do have here... Create a potion of invisibility was checked off in chapter 5. That's right. Um, there are a few left over here. I have to think about what those are. Those must be reasonably easy to grab. So, of course, we... Uh, it might be... It might be the potions that are hidden here. Yeah, it's likely. There's one there and one, one there. Uh, do we see that one... So here we have a very clear line, but we don't have the ingredients to actually go there, which is unfortunate. Um, uh, let's see what happens. Who's coming? Ah, it's Master Alchemist time! We Hello, good sir. Look at our beautiful potions we have been creating. Huh? Huh? Do you like it? Oh, you, you, you need one? You need one? Um, uh, anyway, uh, we have been gathering some, some money through... Um, Slightly shady business, I have to say, but uh, it was good business. Very good business. And do you have a shop too? Uh, no. Okay. 
Quantity actually uh, the opposite, actually, if we are competitors or not. Um, I will soon have extra alchemy devices. I hope that mean, doesn't mean that he doesn't have one right now. So let's go in here. No, he doesn't have one. What is this? Why, Mr. Master Alchemist guy? That is, that is horrendous. We are so far advanced. You're holding us back, good sir. So let's buy some enchanted paper because we definitely need it. Um, that 1,000 buckaroos, yes. I, uh, that means we can now just go out and spend uh, a lot on getting ingredients and hopefully a lot of them. So um, that will allow us to get all the other effects, basically finish off all that and then um, storm ahead in the chapters till we need the next alchemy machine. <laughs> Uh, anyway, let's haggle this one. Um, uh, okay, a little tricky. Let's jump over the first two there. And grab them on the way back. There you have it. Much better price. It's a deal. Eight pages. And we're done here. But I think... Oh, a neutral person? No, wait a sec. No, this is uh, one of the N NPCs. He's a brewer. Um... So uh, yeah, I, I think we're going to serve him um, in the coming episode though. And I like to see non-grumpy people in my shop too. <laughs> Hopefully we're going to get back some reputation soon. Anyway, I think that's it for today's episode. And um, I hope you enjoyed and see you guys next time. <laughs>